if you win, it's time for us to see what's doing. Liberace's turning on. Nine at nine was really groovy. <laughs> Feeling groovy. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, number nine. This one, uh, it almost seems fake, but uh, it is not, according to Advertising Age and lots of other sources. A uh, little background. In Chile, they yeah. wanted to air Star Wars without okay. commercials. They wanted yeah. to run no commercials. So a beer company in Chile uh, decided to insert advertising for their product right into the movie oh. <laughs> once it began airing on regular TV. So they put huh. the ads in the movie, and it was beautiful. Ah. <laughs> you fought in the Clone Wars? Yes. I was once a Jedi Knight, the same as your father. I wish I'd known him. He was the best star pilot in the galaxy. And a cunning warrior. I understand you've become quite a good pilot yourself. And he was a good friend. Which reminds me, I have something here for you. Your father wanted you to have this when you were old enough. Cerveza Cristal! Cerveza Cristal! Your overconfidence is your weakness. Your faith in your friends is yours. It is pointless to resist, my son. One report says that when Lucasfilm found out about this, they sued, uh -huh. and the beer company was told that they couldn't air the commercials uh, like that again. Uh, despite this, the TV channel and Cerveza Cristal partnered again in 2004 and put the beer commercials right into movies like American Beauty, <laughs> Notting Hill, <laughs> and Gladiator. Oh, my gosh. Oh, oh I love I think that. It's only Monday. Maybe we'll see yeah. more of those as the week progresses. All right, number eight, this is why we can't have nice things. The Philadelphia Eagles are ending dollar hot dog night, and fans are outraged. The Phillies have been offering dollar hot dog night a few times in early spring for more than a quarter of a century. But last season, on April 11th, to be exact, some unruly fans got into a food fight using the hot dogs as their weapons of choice. No one was injured, but Philly senior vice president said it was the tipping point, so no more dollar dog nights. Instead, the team will offer buy one, get one dog for a dollar dogs at selected dates in April. See? Hmm. Someone ruins it for everybody, right? Yeah. Number seven, a long time ago, way before Tinder, there was the Bridegroom's Oak. It's in Germany. In days of yore, a young woman fell in love with the local chocolate maker. Her father didn't approve, so they would secretly send letters back and forth by using an oak tree as their letterbox. Eventually, the woman's father caved, and the couple got married under that very oak tree. It became known as Bridegroom's Oak. Over the years, young men and women looking for love would leave letters in the tree, describing what they were looking for in a mate, and some even met and married. Huh. The tree became so popular that in 1927, it got its own address. To this day, it gets dozens of letters from romantics hoping to find love. Huh. Look at that. Okay, number six, coming up in a few minutes, we're talking to the author of a new book about women's firsts in sports, like Katherine Switzer. In 1967, she became the first woman to run the Boston Marathon as a registered runner. During her run, the race manager assaulted her. He tried to grab the bib number and remove her from official competition. Switzer's then boyfriend was running with her at the time. He was able to knock that man on the ground and Switzer finished the race. As a result of the run, the Amateur Athletic Union banned women from competing competing in races against men. It wasn't until 1972 when the Boston Marathon established an official women's race. In 1974, Switzer was the women's winner of the New York City Marathon. Mm -hmm. All right, number five, we're looking at some quirky town names and even quirkier town slogans, courtesy of our friends at Mental Floss. How about Peculiar Missouri? Oh, it's just right here. Yeah. <laughs> I was waiting for us to see it. 
where the odds are with you, and Lake City, Iowa, where they've got everything but a lake. Oh. And here's another one, Hooker, Oklahoma. Yeah. It's not a location, not a vocation. Oh, it's a location, not a vocation. Uh -huh. And finally, Gas, Kansas. Don't pass gas. Stop it in your <laughs> All these little slogans, lovely. Yeah, good. Uh, number four, here's a quick video of a bird. And a few seconds in, there's a nice surprise. We'll explain. Oh. Whoa! Whoa. Look at what that. just happened? Come on now. Uh, the bird is the African jacana. It walks around in shallow lakes, which is why they have those long legs. But get this, the bird here that you're seeing is a male. In most of the uh, bird world, a male bird, you know, just knock up lots of female birds and build a harem. That's what they do. Yeah. Uh, but for the jaconda, the females have lots of partners, and then those males care for the eggs through uh, evolution. Huh. The males have developed the ability to pick up and carry chicks underneath their wings. Well, aren't those Love some it. progressive yeah. birds right there? Wow. I didn't know what I was looking at there for a minute. <laughs> All right, number three, this is one of those nature is cruel oh, videos. Boy. It's a snow leopard taking on a blue sheep in the mountains and they both go for a big tumble. Oh boy. Oh. Oh, oh, oh come on. Come on. Oh. 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 Jeez. Oh my. Whoa! God, what Mom. the? Oh. And he's still not letting go. Oh, jeez. Hey, are we really watching the end of this? How does this work out for the sheep? I'm a little worried here. Oh, jeez. Uh, and, and I'm told the sheep oh. gets away with a judo move <laughs> and everyone lives happily ever after. Really? Uh. Or are you just saying that to make us feel better? Just we... saying that to make you feel better. A lot cuter when the pandas fall. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, number two, check out Foot Fit 3. It gives you the benefits of walking without having to leave the comfort of your living room. Stop All you gotta do is stick your feet into the little slots and the machine simulates the motion of walking. You can even link it to your Bluetooth or your smartphone to monitor your progress. And it's available on the Japan Trends website. I'm all confused. <laughs> You can put your sh you put your shins in there and your feet in there, and it just moves your muscles yeah. just like you were walking. But What's you're that? not walking. Uh, I kind of like that. Yeah, huh? it's not bad. Uh, number one, we showed you this last week during voicemail, just in time for spring. Some people are probably thinking about getting in better shape to enjoy it. Here's new fitness equipment uh, that requires very little effort. Peloton, you know us for our bike, our rower our treadmill, but for those who just don't care, we've come up with something better, something easier. Hey you, yeah you, don't you wanna try a revolutionary new product? Uh, not really, I'm kind of in the middle of a workout. Great, come with us. Whoa! From the mind of legendary news anchor, Robin Baumgarten. <laughs> comes a ridiculously easy new workout machine. Introducing the Peloton Couch. Our patented wine curls keep you busy while binging your favorite show. Add resistance just by adding ice. <laughs> Use our remote to work out those fingers. Get it, girl. Wanna sweat off the pounds? The Peloton couch is heated. Side stretches can bring fast results. <laughs> Want six pack abs? No problem. And the Peloton couch is great for static stretching. Wow. I burned two calories. <laughs> the Peloton Couch. Motivation that moves you. Uh -huh. No one who can run over a mile and is serious about fitness should use the Peloton Couch. 
The Peloton couch has no association with Peloton. In fact, they told us this was a terrible idea. <laughs> they went on to say that this spoof was a terrible idea too. But we said, hey, it was Robin's idea. So blame her. We just work here. Uh-huh. Nice. Shout out to Lindsay and Jen Ward doing yes. the voice over there. Well done, guys. It's a night well at done. nine. Feeling groovy.